Hey guys, this is Backdraft and welcome back to my Create Mod tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build this super quick auto miner. If you love the Create Mod, then this series is definitely for you. So if you enjoy, consider hitting that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can follow me on my quest to farm every item in Minecraft using Create. So this design is similar to other auto miner designs that you may have seen, but there are a couple differences that make this a little bit more efficient. So the complete contraption is this right over here. We have the placers in the correct place so that it will build a tunnel completely around the auto miner to keep it safe and sound from things like water and lava and any other hazards that might get in the way or break it. So the idea in putting the deployers here on the front are so that these deployers can place the blocks along the floor. And the reason that we do that is so that the whole contraption can stay completely flush with the floor and there's no need to have those deployers below the bottom of the contraption. The second biggest difference in this design that makes it more efficient is that we're using powered rails instead of regular rails. Uh, if you use a regular rail with this contraption, it will work, but it will eventually stop because the minecart will lose all of its momentum. You can use a coal-powered minecart if you want, but one that doesn't work in the nether because there's no coal to replenish the stocks, and two, obviously you need coal to make that run. In this case, we're using powered rails with this deployer placing down redstone torches to keep it powered, and this thing moves really, really fast. Of course, no auto miner is perfect. There are certain circumstances where it will stop or break and you will have to reset it but the fact that we're using powered rails once again makes it super easy to get it back up and running and I'll demonstrate that for you guys a little later. So now I'll cover the tutorial. Everything you're going to need to build this is right here in this chest. The only comment I have is you will need a few stacks of cobblestone and or netherrack to start. Cobblestone if you're in the overworld, netherrack if you're doing the mining in the nether. You can go ahead and pause the video to collect up all the materials. So start off by placing a rail and put your cart assembler on top of the rail and then put your minecart inside of the cart assembler. Then come up one linear chassis atop the cart assembler like that. Come back one, two, three, then put down another linear chassis right there. Then you're going to want to slime the front of this and put your first plow right there. Then next to that linear chassis, put a second one, slime that, and put your second plow next to it. Then on top of this chassis right here, put another one, slime the front of it, and then place a deployer facing downward towards you just like this. Then you're going to want to put a filter on that deployer and make it the powered rails by right-clicking the filter box just like that. You can double-check it by making sure that the powered rail is shown right there. Then behind this, place another linear chassis. Then next to that right here, place one more. Slime that and place another deployer facing downwards once again. And on this one, you're going to want to do your redstone torch. You can apply that to the filter by simply right-clicking on the box once again with the torch. Then place a chassis here, another chassis right there and then one below it right there. Then you're gonna to wanna to go up five in each direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five in that direction. And then one, two, three, four, and five in that direction. Then you're gonna to wanna to slime each one of these. Next, put your drills on the front side where you've slimed the linear chassis just like this all the way down. It should be a total of 22 drills. And directly behind the drills, you're going to want to build another layer of linear chassis. You can skip the corners to save some materials. We're going to come along the top just like this and along the sides. And then we're going to do one more layer. So we're going to come out one more just like this there along the top and along the other side as well. Then slime each of the chassis that you just placed down and we're gonna put deployers on these facing towards you. So you can just right click to put the deployers facing towards you. Now we need to put deployers in front of each of the mechanical drills and I know what you're thinking and the answer is no, the mechanical drills will not break the deployers. Once this becomes a cart contraption, the deployers will simply pass through the blocks and the drills will break the blocks. They won't actually break the deployers. Now to do this, you're gonna wanna super glue next to each deployer just like this. So super glue those two and place these two deployers, then super glue those, place the next two, super glue those, etc, 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 all the way down to the end. Now we still have a few more deployers to place, but first we want to set the filters of all these deployers that we can see right here. So if you're doing mining in the overworld, you're going to want to set these filters to cobblestone. If you're in the nether, you're going to want to set it to nether rack. Since I'm going to be demonstrating in the overworld, I'm going to set all of these filters to cobblestone. So do this for every single one. When you're done setting the filters, you need to put super glue on the front of these 11 deployers in the middle. And to do this, you want to shift and then right click it and you'll see 
to super glue be applied to there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So once you have that super glue in, you're going to want to put blocks along the top of these eleven deployers. You can do this by holding shift and just right clicking the deployer like this. So put the blocks along the top just like this. Now, if you only have a two block space right here, you're going to want to break yourself down another block layer so that you can put the remaining deployers on the faces of these blocks just like this. So just right click, make sure you're not holding shift, otherwise you'll be placing it upside down. So just place it while facing these blocks and you'll see that the super glue is actually sticking it to the other deployer. It's kind of a little cheeky thing to do. Then you can break these blocks, they're no longer needed. And finally, you need to set the filters of the 11 deployers that you just placed. So come along in this little gap right here once again and set all of their filters to either cobble for the overworld or another for another rack for the nether. Then along the backside, slime these 10 chassis right here. So that's four, six, eight, 10. Then you're gonna to wanna to put chests on each one of these and then do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna slime these 10, two, four, six, eight, 10, and put your remaining chests right there. Then in any one of these chests, put your remaining powered rails and your redstone torches and keep one of the redstone torches for the next step. And don't forget to also put some starting blocks in this chest. Once again, if you're in the nether, you're gonna to wanna to use netherrack, but I'm in the overworld, so I'm using cobble. I'm just gonna put three stacks of cobble into here. You can do more if you want, but I think three should be plenty to start with. I almost forgot this last step. Grab your wrench, look at the card assembler, and you'll see the configuration here. Now use your scroll wheel to change it so it says lock rotation. This is very important. Do not forget to do this. Now finally, put a redstone torch right beneath this deployer right here. This should turn it into a cart contraption and it should be ready to use. So pick it up with your wrench by right clicking the minecart and then we can take it underground. Now dig yourself down to diamond level. I'm at Y level 11 right now and hollow out an area. I typically might like to make it three tall. I think this is three by 10 by 15. This is plenty of space to put the auto miner down. So to turn it on, just set down a powered rail, put your contraption on that powered rail, and then simply place a block right here and it is off to the races. So you'll see it's gonna start hollowing out that two by, I think it's two by 11 area, and you can kind of just follow it down as it goes, and we are all done. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up, and if you were able to accomplish your own auto mining adventure with this, then hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I'm making new create mod tutorials every single week. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you again. Take care, bye-bye.